Um, so I suppose, look, the squad has been named this week. Uh, the countdown is officially on for the tour in South Africa. So what's the, the latest with the COVID situation over there? To be honest, uh, the COVID situation in South Africa is actually very much under control at the moment. Um, so, so yes, yeah, still, you know, some, some cases um, all around. And um, I think the, I think we had like 20, I suppose 20 deaths, which is 20 too many. Um, but, uh, you know, in, in like the last week or something like that. Um, but it's, it's pretty much under control, to, to be honest. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're talking about the third wave coming and, and being prepared for that. But um, as things stand, you know, touch wood, it, it's, it's looking pretty good. And, you know, that's, I suppose that's what we want. If you look from a cricket point of view and what's going on in the IPL at the moment and India and just the, the abs absolute um, devastation there at the moment, you know, so yeah. it's, we, we count ourselves lucky. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to turn my computer on and show you the beautiful sunshine and the mountains in the background. And it's, you know, good to be outdoors. So pretty cool in South Africa at the moment. So you, I suppose so at, the, at the moment, everyone is confident that the tour can definitely go ahead. Yeah, well, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not in the, the inner circle in terms of the decision making, but, but still I am involved with, the, um, with some of the brands involved and, and they, they're feeling confident, you know. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether the decision has been made, um, whether there'll be people in the stands or not. Um, or, you know, at, at one stage it was, you know, pushing to try to get 50% capacity. Um, then there were talks of about 10,000 people per match. I don't know. But in terms of the, of the tour itself going ahead, I, I feel pretty confident that, that we'll be able to, to, to have the tour in South Africa. I don't know if it will be, the experience that Jamie that we had back in two thousand and nine, but um, but certainly uh, alliance to him, I'm pretty confident that it will happen in South Africa this year. Exactly, mate. Does it worry you the box haven't played since the World Cup final, or do you think it's potentially a weapon for them? Oh, it's difficult to see how it can be a weapon. Um, it's it's difficult. You know, it's difficult when. The last game you ever played together as a team was like, what, 18 months ago, World Cup final, the euphoria of that, a couple of players retiring, um, so you lose some experience. And, and arguably two of the most influential players in that team, being Dwayne Vermeer and Andre Pollard, being injured for a lot of the time. Andre Pollard made his debut this weekend, Dwayne Vermeer and still not playing. Um, you know, so, so you can't change much. Uh, even from a player point of view, you can't really change the personnel and select other guys because there's been limited rugby. You haven't tested um, new players at international level, at test match level. So it's a big concern. Um, in saying that, I think Rossi Erasmus, the one, the one thing that he's done over the years is he he's impeccable in terms of planning and he'll have some, some, something up his sleeve again. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, can they come together in a short space of time and, and, and perform three tests in a row. Well, I think for once, it's, it's maybe a similar situation to the Lions themselves. John, who are you going to be looking out for to be a standout player and make the difference for the box? I don't see, I don't see a lot of change in terms of the starting lineup that played in the, in the World Cup final, to be honest. Um, um, obviously, injuries, um, you know, um, taking that into account but um being a midfielder myself I think Damien Delende the way that he played last weekend was it last weekend against Leinster um and the performance that he put up you know kind of his experience now of playing against a lot of the guys that'll that'll be in the in the Lions squad um you know I think he's got a he's got a massive role to play Andre Pollard probably will be playing next to him at, at 10 um, but he'll need to take on a much more senior role. Um, so that'll be key uh, for us. And, and then Cheslin Colby, again, he's, he, he just seems to get better and better. And he really has the X factor and, and hopefully he can, he can deliver in the test matches. So you always look at the backline players to have the impact in the game, right? Yeah. Do you think Andre Esterhausen has a chance? I've been watching quite a lot of his rugby this year with Quinns, man. Impressive player. Do you think they could play Dialende and him together in the midfield? I, I don't see that happening. You don't uh, see it? 
I, I think, look, Jamie, I think we, we, you take the success of, your, of yourself and, and buying a Driscoll in 09 and, you know, having, um, you know, having the, the bigger player that can get massive momentum like yourself and then, you know, a, a bit more, well, actually a lot more speed and, and flair in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the, in the 30 channel. Um, you know, that really works. So, and the combination of a, um, of a uh, Damien De Linde and Lucan Um, um you know, has really worked for the box. So I can't, I can't see them playing the two together. It will be a like-for-like -like swap. If De Linde does not make it, then Estes definitely comes in. because he, He's been very impressive at, at Wins, I think. Do you reckon the Lions need to match that with a similar thing then in the centre? Because there's been a lot of chat around Manu Tuolangi and trying to get someone like him in there to match it up with someone, I don't know, one of the Irish centres or something. Do you reckon that's yeah. what the Lions need to do, Sean? Look, I think I think if if Manu's fit, you 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 pick him, um, yeah. you know. And if he, you know, obviously not a lot of rugby under his belt, but um, you know, he's a he's a player that can really change the game. He, he provides that kind of momentum, and he, you know, he keeps the defense busy. So, um, you know, who you combine him with, I don't know. I've, I've really struggled to 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 really nail which which players they'll they'll take even on tour in terms of the midfield and and which combination makes the most sense. Uh, you know, so yes, you select money, but then again, you need to be smart in terms of who you partner him with. Um, again, that's my view. Having played with and against money, it's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a great player and he, he can really, uh, it's not that easy defending against him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. John, I completely agree with you, man. I, I try and sit down and pick four midfielders and I really, I struggle uh, because there's probably seven or eight they're going to pick from. And as a focal point, only Robbie Henshaw, for me, is is definitely going at the minute. He's over the last season. He's been that go-to ball carry, smart defensively, and wings collisions. George North is a huge loss, I think, yeah. for for the Lions because he's that guy you can run into traffic and, and get you a few meters. He can get you momentum. Uh, that's why I reckon Ryan, your Scottish mate, Duan van der Merwe, now George is injured, has got a better chance. They might have to try and get that momentum from, from their wingers, uh, like Nadolo does at Leicester, um, etc. So, yeah, I mean, the midfield's tough, man. I, I think it's as challenging a position as scrum half. We're all talking about scrum half in this country and who's going to go, but I think the, the midfield is similarly really difficult to pick. Yeah, yeah and, and also then you look at the kind of the you know, selections previously um, with Gatlin and, and obviously the, the Welsh link, you know, having a bit of experience of the Lions tour in there as well. So, so I suppose uh, Jonathan Davies will will definitely be be there and thereabouts. Um, you know he can play at twelve and thirteen. Uh, but same question: Where do you play him and who are you partner him with? You know, I'm a I'm a big believer of of partnerships in the midfield. You know, a combination and really understanding each other. And and no one kind of you know pops out. So yes, yeah, sometimes you put two great players together and they just you know it works. But uh, it's it's risky as well. So 